After acquiring Exile Kingdoms, I didn't think much of it. Not having much to play at the time, I gave it a try and instantly fell in love with it. It doesn't take much time to let you catch up with the story and the mechanics of the game. Me being quite a newbie in RPGs at the time, I ended up with hours upon hours of grinding, equipping, finding secrets and fighting my way through this well detailed world. I feel the simple menu and progression system had me getting the grip of things quite early on and the instant freedom to explore the world was very inviting. The game doesn't hold your hand, only putting small hints here and there and allows you to figure out and make decisions on where to go or where to be. Though most of the quest requires a lot of strategy and planning and a lot of combat decision, especially while exploring unknown areas, it's quite nice how the dev made a lot of encounters unique but some are just outright brutal and adds on to the difficulty of the game. The story is quite simple. You are an adventurer who receives a mysterious and a magical letter promising you riches. The letter is about an inheritance heir left by someone from your family. But we quickly know that the protagonist, you, the player, doesn't have any relatives or no accounts of having any next of kin. But the promises of riches is enough motivation and thus you take up the role and we traverse to, through the lands to a place called Neugran in the kingdom of Vesilia. In your travels where you start playing, the game tutorials are introduced and you learn the combat system and the healing. You fight off a few goblins and wolves and then you meet up with your first important NPC in the game, Andor. You team up with him, take on a group of goblins and wolves again, and then he convinces you to set up camp where he starts asking you a few questions about yourself and whether or not you tell him the truth, the outcome is still the same. He robs you of everything you have including the letter and you are only left with a dagger and 18 gold coins. Now the premise is set and you are free to roam the world and find your way to your letter and go claim your riches. The world is quite big with a lot of secrets hidden in every corner. I love the inclusion of every biome in the game, complementing of what the kingdom does, like the kingdom of Mecca, I'm pronouncing that wrong I know, is mostly desert and you find people trading and slaves and is inhabited by hostile creatures associated with the desert such like spiders, mummies, undeads and you even find the music that complements the biome and sets a unique tone of every place you visit in the game. The game if you pick a difficulty other than normal, uh, at first I picked the Iron Man difficulty telling myself that I will beat the game with the highest difficulty because I'm a gamer but I was quickly humbled in the first mission that you pick up in the nearest town where you have to kill five goblins. I was cluttered and I quickly knew that the enemies hit hard and they can quickly overwhelm you to be honest. So I kind of noticed that normal sets of a uh, more balanced stone where enemies in uh, some regions are really difficult and enemies in the beginning regions are kind of easy but provide enough challenge if you are not careful they will they will make your life difficult to be honest the world building in the game is done well with great npcs well actually the ones that you can interact with. The game is text-based dialogue and your attribute contribute a lot in finding hidden dialogues and choices matter in most of the interactions. If you pick a wrong dialogue choice 
you can turn a friend into a fiend or cause the whole quest together. But if you're having so much trouble with the game, finding your way through it, you can go to the wiki. The wiki has uh, a lot, actually a lot. It has a bestiary consisting of all the creatures, enemies and NPCs in the game, guides and also builds if you want to look at it. But the game overall sets up a great tone and I just don't want to spoil I want you to experience it for yourself so I'll leave it at that the game it's for PC and mobile if you decide to go for steam it's eight dollars and since the release the game has received over 40 updates and so far I haven't experienced any bug in the game and the world as I've read has tripled in size so you have a lot to look at, a lot place to explore and find the secrets that the dev have left it. Oh, and I haven't mentioned that this is a one dev game. It's an indie project by 4 Dimensional Games. That is one person. And it's actually very, very impressive. I actually loved the world, loved every encounter of every, every NPC. But if you want to see me go in depth about this game, if you're still not convinced, you can let me know down in the comments, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, now I'm about done. As you have noticed, this is not my usual content. I wanted to learn more on the commentary and talking over the RPGs that I recommend. And I uh, will. And I know it will allow me to experience them more other than looking through guides, reviews and uh, leaning to Reddit to know if the game is good or bad, I will experience them for myself. But that will be depend on you guys. If, if you want me to do more of this content, I will do more of this content. Be sure to let me in the know in the comments, please. I, I want to know. If this is a short video testing out if I can do this, if I can talk over well, if I can review the game well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have enjoyed the review and if you will be playing the Exile Kingdoms, please let me know. So, and if you need anything about the game, um, almost uh, I noticed the game cap level is 30. I'm almost cap level. I know most of the game. If you need any guidance in the game, uh, be sure to let me where where you have stuck. I can act like your guide, yeah? I can act like your guide, but I'll not be producing any guides. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Take care. Have a nice day and goodbye.